but I'm very excited to announce that we are just about ready to enter manufacturing. And uh, thank you. Uh, we expect mass production and, and our deliveries to begin uh, in June. So it's very, very exciting for us. Um, but for those of you who are familiar with EatWell, we uh, are an assisted tableware set uh, for people with special needs, such as um, motor and uh, cognitive impairments. Um, and we actually have a short video just to in introduce our product. I was inspired by my grandmother who had that's, Alzheimer's. That's shop. Every time when I saw her suffer, I wish I could have done something to help her to have better quality of life. My name is Sha Yao and I'm the creator of Eat Eat Well. <laughs> Not play well. <laughs> was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, began volunteering in the Dell daycare centers to learn more about this disease. And that's when I realized there were many people who had the similar problems as my grandma. They often ate less than they should, and accidents with spilled food and tip cups were common. That's the reason I designed and created EatWell, which is a very user-centered design that can help to increase food intake, maintain dignity for its users, while also help to alleviate carry burdens by making the process of eating as easy as possible. EatWell is a universal tableware that actually can be used by anyone, but especially benefits seniors with cognitive impairment Little children and caregivers of those with special needs. Now I would like to show you what makes EatWell special. There are over 20 unique features in each EatWell set. Every design detail and decision can be traced back to a discovery made during the four-year process. One of the more obvious features of the EatWell set is its color. Studies have shown that a person with dementia consumes 24% more food and 84% more liquid when using brightly colored tableware. EatWell applies this concept to stimulate interest in its user while providing a visual contrast. Now let's take a closer look at the design of the tableware. The slanted bottom of the bowls allows food to collect on one side while spoons in the inkwell set are specially designed to match the curvature of the bowl, making scooping food significantly easier. The bowl also features right angle sides, which help prevent accidental spills. The inkwell set also contains two types of cups. To prevent the cups from tipping over, one cup has a rubber base that acts as a stabilizer and another cup has a handle that extends to the tabletop for added support. The handle is also specifically designed to benefit users with arthritis. Every product in the EatWell set has anti-slippage material on the bottom to prevent slipping or sliding. The set also comes with a tray that allows users to clip a bit onto the edge to help catch any dropped food and prevent clothing stains. I put so much work into my research, sketches, mockups, and revisions of my model based on the feedback that I received from professional caregivers. After years of research and development, Ewell won first place at the 2014 Stanford Design Challenge out of 52 other teams in 15 countries. I truly believe this product set can revolutionize the way we see kitchenware, but only with your help. Any contribution you can provide will help improve the lives of many people who struggle daily. I ask you to please support EatWell, bring it to life, and help to spread the word. Thank you. To uh, truly appreciate how far we've come, I think it's uh, important to understand where we started 
and uh, where we started was um, a big part of that was here last year um, winning the design challenge uh, was really helpful to us um, because it allowed, it allowed us to meet the right people. Um, Um, <laughs> so when we were here, we were able to meet our providers, and um, these care providers were able to give us user feedback to refine our design, um, and volunteered as kind of a user base for user testing, which just ended up being critical to us. Uh, we were able to meet and be introduced to a lot of startups, and these startups, uh, we were able to kind of follow along and, and kind of see what worked and, and try to and be better prepared to maybe avoid challenges that we perhaps wouldn't uh, have known about before. Um, and we were able to meet distributors and investors. We, um, that helped us kind of uh, learn about different uh, manufacturing processes and different routes to market that we could take. Um, and of course, you know, there's a lot of media. So there's a lot of um, publicity. And these are just some of the uh, media outlets that, that we were featured in um, just by our participation and, and um, our winning the design challenge last year. Um, you know, Forbes, ICAA, just um, a lot of great publicity that raised our profile. Um, so at that time, you know, we only had one goal, and that was to get to the market. And um, that was our biggest challenge. Not a very inspiring slide. Um, <laughs> And that was uh, where the design challenge um, just became totally invaluable to us. Uh, with the prize money that we had, we um, filed for a patent. And um, the other part of it, we used to film the video that you just saw. Um, with that video, we launched uh, our crowdfunding campaign on Indiegogo. Um, we launched it in October of last year with a goal of $70,000, which we had calculated to be the um, about the amount that we needed to, to create the molds to um, mass produce um, an evil set. We reached our goal in um, December uh, with some time to spare. And I, actually, even now, we continue to still get contributors and inquiries about pre orders and stuff like that. Um, and through our campaign, it, you know, it kind of uh, raised our profile to yet another level. Um, it helped us define our target users. Um, as you saw from the video, you know, Shah actually designed it um, for people with cognitive impairments. Um, we noticed really early on that a lot of the features could actually be used um, for people with motor impairments as well, kind of like sclerosis and some of the palsies. Um, and a lot of our contributors were writing in and saying, hey, uh, you know, we really like your idea. Have you ever thought about using it for people with visual impairments? some of those uh, features could be adapted there. Or um, people uh, were suggesting maybe um, people who had suffered from strokes or, or like little kids or something like that. Um, so that kind of helped us actually broaden our user base, which, which became invaluable. Um, and due to the success of our campaign, uh, we were able to establish all the partnerships with a lot of distributors um, that we continue to communicate with and engage. Um, and of course, you know, a lot of publicity, uh, which helped expand the market. Um, so these are some of the events that we were invited to uh, attend. Um, I believe I was the photographer for most of these. That's <laughs> <laughs> why I'm not in there. Um, so the, the top left, that is actually Shaw with um, Dana Ringelman, uh, the CEO and the co-founder of Indiegogo. Uh, we were featured in um, a, the Catalyst series at Umqua Bank, uh, who I think we're highlighting um, uh, like early entrepreneurs and kind of exciting, exciting ventures in that field. Um, the top right uh, is the, I think that was the South Korean Pan Conference for, uh, I think it's, it's like a TED equivalent in Asia. Um, and bottom left, I think that's actually a local Chinese interest um, cable and, and radio channel. So she was, she's uh, asked to, to um, participate in a lot of interviews um, on radio. And then on the bottom right was a Taiwanese um, televised um, news, I think. 
Um, we also have been featured in um, articles on Alzheimer's.net, AARP um, International. Uh, we were uh, featured, I think, on the 99% Invisible, one of their podcasts. Um, and actually, uh, what's kind of important, uh, which I think is kind of cool, is we were, I think we still are, on the website of the official, the official government website of Taiwan. Um, we are, are um, available there um, through a web portal. Um, more recently, um, and this is really exciting, I think a couple weeks ago we were on the Sunday Times, um, which you know uh, Stephen might be able to tell you more about. It's uh, um, I think the the largest um, circulation um, in the UK right now for uh, uh, news. Um, and uh, we have been talking to Tifa Snow, who's um, uh, a very prominent figure, um, authority and expert in, in the dementia field. Um, and we have also been talking to Tada, which is a Taiwanese uh, Alzheimer's and Dementia Association, I believe. Um, and so, and we also have just established a, a pre-order site, just because we have been inundated with requests after our campaign ended um, to, to be able to make more pre-orders. Um, so that's where we are now. Um, and finally, I just wanted to congratulate all the finalists uh, for being here. Um, I know what's in front of you and I know how much you can achieve and it's really exciting to be on this side of it. Um, you know, I think it's it's such a rare and amazing opportunity that you have here to be in this room with so many pioneers and um, so many titans of this industry. Uh, it's really exciting. Um, and, and these people, a lot of these people want to help you succeed um, because they believe in you and because they share your goal of, of um, you know, helping other people and, and improving um, people's lives, and it's, it's really rare um, as an attorney for the past seven years in a law firm. I can tell you it's kind of rare. Um, not everybody is going to be able to help you or, or wants to help you the, the way that these people can. Um, so I urge you to make the most of uh, this position, take advantage of it, um, embrace the situation, um, and I really look forward to coming back next year to see how much progress you've made. Thank you. Thank you.